So, continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a MR Baby and Goku Black. But before we go ahead and get into Zam's card, go ahead and send me cards to phdevcustomcards.gmail.com so I can go ahead and review your card in the near future uh, and get all the older cards out the way and get to yours. I think that's pretty much the same thing. But yeah, just send me cards, phdevcustomcards.gmail.com. But with that being stated, uh, there is nothing inside uh, the message that, uh, well, the little body of the uh, email that Zam sent me, as well as there being no subject. I think Zam just wants me to get straight into it, which I'm all for it. Now, with that being said, I guess MR is like a new little rarity, I guess. Um, uh, okay, uh, MR, Extreme Physical, Baby, Goku Black. Now, these, this text is huge, so it might be... No, wait, never mind. I guess you just made the text big for the leader skill, the stats, as well as the name and the typing. Oh, so yeah, the, the text for the for the uh, passive and everything else in the card is not really that big that looks cool by the way i'm not gonna lie uh gt boss is buff uh is he on well they are they on gt boss wait wait hold on all right well we're gonna get to the card in just a second all right so uh extreme physical mr baby and goku black you know when i first read the email like you know i saw the little uh file i thought it said mr baby and goku black yo shout out to <laughs> and you guys already know all right, so these are his stats, Rainbow, of course. He has 27,000 attack and 19,000 defense. All these stats, even the HP is ridiculously high. Okay. All right, so his leader skill is Worldwide Chaos, Terrifying Conquerors, or Target Goku, three key and one 80% across the board. And his 30% of the stats is two Inhuman Deeds, Space Traveling Warriors, or Artificial Life forms now this is a 210 percent leader skill and i'm just gonna be completely bluntly honest this category is ass like his leader skill is just straight ass i'm just gonna be just bluntly honest like goku black doesn't he want super boss's characters um yeah goku black i like goku black personally i like frieza but like this leader skill is like i mean you got frieza goku black boo uh, who else? You got Ginyu, but of course Ginyu wants, I mean, he wants Ginyu Force characters, right? This, I mean, of course you have Boo Tanks, who, who, who probably is the best character, well, Boo. No, In Boo has to be the best character on his category. He has to be, right? It has to be In Boo, or, no, or is it Boo Tanks? It's like, these two are like easily the best characters. I don't like to uh, rank uh, TURs and LRs over each other, but for this case, is it, is, is Boo like the best character on his category? He probably... I mean, bro, this category's ass. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> you have Exchange Boo too. Um, the further you scroll, of course, the worse it gets. Uh, but of course, this is a. Uh, oh, we also have the um super easy a uh, physical Goku Black. Now, of course, uh, the super easy a Kid Boo. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on over to the category. If I skipped over anybody, please let me know down below. All right. So that's the leader skill. So the super attack, the uh, variant lasso. I hope I didn't say that word incorrectly. It, okay, so it's two uh, characters on one card. Of course, it's Baby and Goku Black. I was about to say uh, he when it's literally just uh, two of them. So I got to say they because it's two characters in the card. So uh, they greatly stack attack and do colossal damage to enemy as well as lowers the enemy's attack and defense for three turns. Wow. So a three turn okay so they attack debuff for three whole turns while greatly stacking attack that is a nice 12 key and i'm going to assume with what the 12 key is looking like the rest of the card i'm pretty sure the passive that being the doppelganger team up this is going to be a nasty pass i like to assume all right and the 18 uh key super attack that being the evil dual gala gun and kamehameha Raises attack and okay, so he just stacks attack and defense. I'm about to say raise stack and defense in one turn, but um, stacks attack and defense does mega colossal damage to enemy as well as a 50% chance to stun. So you have two debuffs in both super attack effects, that being lowering attack for three turns, as well as having a 50% chance to stun. So, of course, you have the stun chance as well as the multi turn attack debuff. 
And this character stacks attack and defense aside their 18 key as well as greatly stacking attack in their 12 key. I'm going to go off of a whim and assume that this character is going to have a bunch of additional super attack chances or just guarantee supers in general. Because we're seeing greatly stack and attack and we're seeing um, stack and attack and defense. We know where this is going, right? We've seen this with so many custom cards. <laughs> Looking good so far. And ultimate super attack. Uh, ultimate super attack. Is that... 24 key divine revenge death ball that is a fire name massively raises attack and defense for three turns that's a hundred percent attack and defense for three turns and does mega colossal damage to enemy i like to assume this is a 24 key wow so yeah this wow three super attack uh, effects three okay so let's continue reading the card um, so interest animation, uh, is, it's optional. Okay. So interest animation, optional activates the interest animation upon entry once only, of course, and extreme class allies get 30% attack and defense just for free. That's obviously good. The fact that it's optional is, is interesting to me. Okay. So passive, the doppelganger team up 12 key and 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. Okay. And they get an additional 6 key and 120% attack and defense, as well as a 50% chance to crit when there is a pure sans or high sans category enemy. So that part of that passive just makes a whole lot of sense considering that it's Baby and Goku Black. So, I mean, of course, Goku Black wants to destroy all, you know. <laughs> and then, yeah, Baby, who just hate saiyans you know, it makes a whole lot of sense that i mean hybrid saiyans part of the card you know goku black was just giving uh trunks the people's elbow <laughs> and uh baby uh was just boxing up uh super saiyan 4 goku right i mean uh, or just gt goku in general okay and plus additional 100 percent attack and defense and launch a suit okay of course launches an additional super attack if HP is 40% or more when performing a super attack, it makes a whole lot of sense. I had a feeling that would be in this card because you're seeing a lot of stacking in this card in their 12 key as well as their 18 key. The way they're getting their stack and attack and defense their 18 key and they're greatly stacking inside their 12 key. See, I, <laughs> it's crazy. I got a little flustered there. Like 100% attack and defense was a guarantee super if HP is 40% or more when performing a super attack. That's easy for them to get. So what basically, you know what? Let me finish reading the card. I have a lot of thoughts on this card already that I wanted to talk about with their uh, their little pre-fusion. Yeah, they have a little uh, Potata fusion. I guess he meant Potara fusion. I mean, that's probably just a little typo. Okay, I'm, I'm not lying. It literally says Potata fusion. I'm, I'm not lying. It's probably just a little typo. Uh, no big deal. But anyways, they also have a 50% chance to dodge unrestricted. And they launch an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come a super attack. Uh, okay, so they have additional super attack chance for free and they launch an additional super with a Roma gods or GT bosses category ally. Okay, I guess that's within the same turn because that says with a Roma gods or GT bosses category ally and crit chance plus uh, damage reduction plus 10% per super attack perform up to 50%. So granted this card is restricted in two parts of their card to where a they want to face a pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category enemy for that crit chance as well as that uh, additional key in attack and defense. Yeah, they want to face a pure or hybrid Saiyans category enemy as well as them wanting to have a GT bosses or Realm of Gods character with them. So they can get that additional super attack off, which is obviously very powerful considering the fact this card is stacking in two parts of their two out of their three super attack effects where they're getting uh, they're greatly stacking attack in a 12 key and they're stacking attack and defense regularly in an 18 key. Uh, I think this these are very doable restrictions. I mean, you take this card into like Beast Gohan, for example, like for the Supreme Battle Spectacle, and this card is absolutely demolishing him because do keep in mind, uh, once you get those five supers off. Uh, this character is doing guaranteed crits, right? Because you have a 50% chance to crit over here because you're facing a hybrid Saiyan's enemy. We're using the Supreme Battle Spectacle uh, Beast Gone, for example. And you have up to a 50% chance to crit right over here. So that's in a vacuum. That's pretty much guaranteed crits you're doing against that Gohan. Now, like, overall, their base is looking very strong. So they can get up to... 50% damage reduction, as well as a guaranteed crit provided versus in the... Let's just go ahead and just... 
let's just make believe that we're in the right condition right so in the right condition like look at what they're starting out with 12 key and 180 percent attack and defense they can get up to a guaranteed crit they have a unrestricted 50 percent chance to dodge they can get up to 50 percent damage reduction with that 50 percent chance to dodge um they also have multiple super attack uh, just like they could just launch out immediately um as well as a additional super attack chance right over here so they have a additional super attack chance right over here of course that being a uh, attack that has a 70 percent chance come a super attack as well as them having two guarantee supers just built into them for free one being uh, with them being above a hp threshold which is very doable that being 40 percent or more when they're doing a super attack and one with them just having a realm of gods or gt bosses category ally on the same turn i'm just going off of uh, assumption because it just says realm of gods or gt bosses category ally so they have two guarantee super bridge is built into them for free they also have additional super attack chance right over here 50 percent damage reduction a guarantee crit they can get they could just easily get up to as well as uh, i mean a 50 percent chance to dodge. i mean it's the base is speaking for us itself and of course they have the interest animation where they're supporting so they're looking good on the defensive end and on the offensive end where they're able to stack up their attack and when they get to that potata fusion uh -huh. they when they get to that potara fusion it's going to be pretty nasty uh, because they're they're recovering 50 percent hp for free and the active skill condition can be activated when hp falls below 60 percent and starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle okay so all they have and now in, in a uh and now in like a worst case scenario uh, all they have is that 50% chance of the dodge to fall back on. They really want to build up that damage reduction as fast as possible. They want to get those five supers out. But if you really think about it, on that first turn, they can do up to... Can they do up to five supers? Because they do their first super, that being the 24 key super attack, that being the ultimate super attack. Zam, let me know if this is a 24 key, because it says ultimate super attack, because, I mean, that sounds cool. I'm not going to lie. Divine Revenge death ball I, that's that's just dope so they'll do their first super attack that being their 24 key i just noticed they can get up to 18 key from there <laughs> not including the leader skill by the way of them getting that double three key of course but they're a 210 percent leader skill that can get six key from their leader skill provided you're running double of them which you're going to as well as 18 key right over here so bro they're just gonna be overloaded with key so and in, in like all actuality do they not need key for keys to obtain in their base so anyways they can definitely get up to three supers right well not three supers, excuse me uh they can definitely get up to five supers so they do their first super attack where they get a hundred percent attack and defense for three turns which is obviously ridiculous so to their 24 key uh, you get the guaranteed super off where you're above that HP threshold. Of course, you're going to be above at the start of turn. Then you get lucky and get off this additional attack as a 70% chance to come a super attack. So that's three supers. You get your fourth super off from having a specific type of ally in a turn. And the fifth super is the potential system. So they can do five supers within the first turn. Oh, okay. Oh, meanwhile, they do support. And they also have a mythical passive gt bosses and realm of gods category allies three key and 30 percent attack and defense <laughs> so they can give up to three key and 60 percent attack and defense and support and look strong on the defensive end and the offensive end because once they get going bro okay whatever let's continue on to their uh can their active skill provide them problems we're going to continue on over to uh the baby vegeto this looks fire, I'm not even gonna lie. It just looks, it looks right. Like, just, like the black and red, that looks, that looks so good. Where is this from, by the way? Uh, is this active skill doable, though? Is it gonna be easy for them to fall below that 60% or less HP threshold from the fifth turn? I feel like them in this form is just enough. I mean, th this is like all they need. This is like, they, they look pretty damn strong not only are they supporting but they're great on the offensive and defensive end now granted within the first turn can they die immediately if they don't dodge for you yes but i mean you they get going and they're gonna get going <laughs> i mean that's all that there is to it for the base form the base form looks very strong to me and the link set is big bad bosses hatred of saiyans 
course because a baby uh nightmare fear and faith prepare for battle godly power fierce battle legendary power and mythical power that's is that nine links so bbb hatred of saiyans nightmare fear and faith prepare for battle godly power fierce battle legendary power and mythical power that's nine links i'm not even gonna lie new rarity cards could you guys make more of these these are really interesting this is some outside the box type i do like regular custom cards more of these though let's get more of these these are intriguing me these are wow nine links god damn okay so let's see baby vegeto black bro <laughs> okay so uh he gets of course because they fuse i'm just gonna say he because it's just one character i had to say they because it was two characters just had to specify that real quick so he gets new super attack effects as well as a new passive bro this passive is like just monstrous anyways um new super attack effects so the 12 key that being the perfect game greatly stack attack and defense do colossal damage and lower attack so a good 12 key uh 18 key eternal god greatly stack attack and defense just like the 12 key and it does mega colossal damage to enemy and just guarantee stuns enemy great 18 key uh and then 24 key i'm assuming of course sam correct me down below uh hateful spirit sword i would love to see what animations look like for this card oh my god massively stacks attack and defense and does mega colossal damage so super attack effects are perfect across the board i mean we're just gonna say this guy's killing everything how am i going to find a character that's going to be suited for a thumbnail for this video i don't even know like what am i even gonna use if i just look up baby vegeto black png like what am i gonna find i don't even know what i'm gonna find so let's take a look the passive fueled by a hatred of saiyans 12 key and 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and plus an additional 12 key and 180 percent attack and defense performs a guaranteed crit when there is a pure saiyans or hybrid saiyans category enemy okay so we stop right there this character gets to 24 key at the start of turn we backtrack for just a second Right? Remember what I was saying? That this character can just get up to 18 key from their passive. Just for free. But factor in the leader skill. That's 6 more key. Guys. Um, simple math. Uh, 6 plus 18. Uh, 24. So this character is already at 24 key. Including leader skill. And we didn't even include links. This character is already at 24 key. So. Uh, <laughs> this character is always going to be able to get their, their 24 key super off. I... <laughs> what <laughs> anyways uh back on over to this broken baby vegeto black let's see what we got here five key 100 percent attack and defense and a 40 percent chance to crit when there isn't a realm of gods category enemy pure and hybrid saiyans excluded 50 percent damage reduction for five turns from first appearance and uh, unrestricted no yeah, this isn't this actually it is restricted it's restricted to normal attacks so 30 percent damage reduction from normal attacks this character is gonna fucking counter isn't he are they really gonna counter bro because <laughs> it's baby vegeto black plus an additional 100 percent attack and defense launches an additional attack that's a 70 percent chance come with super attack when there's another realm of gods or gt bosses category ally attacking in the same turn so it was correct from the uh, pre-transformation launches an additional super when this character performs two or more super attacks in turn and counters normal attacks with tremendous power how did i fucking know this character was going to counter so i feel like oh uh, and of course the mythical pass is the same gt bosses realm of gods category allies three key and 30 percent attack and defense and they also get power bestowed by god replaced for what power bestowed by god replaces fear and faith it does okay <laughs> i feel like the base is just enough to clear the game i feel like it is now can this character die turn one certainly yes if they don't dodge but uh, yeah am i missing anything because all they have this 50 percent chance to dodge to fall back on i'm pretty certain this character can die turn one 
Yeah, they could. Because all they have is this. I mean, unless they can just tank the normal, because they have 180% attack and defense right over here, 120% attack and defense right over here, 100% attack and defense right over here. They probably die to a super, probably. Let's just put the emphasis on probably. Um, I feel like this character is enough. Just this, just their base is enough. But then you get to Majito Black. I mean, they're stacking on every one of their super attack effects. They have a 24 key just to just open up the turn. They get, what's that? I mean, you're facing a, a hybrid sans, a pure sans category character. And you just freely get 380% attack and defense at the start of the turn with a guaranteed crit. And, uh, bro, <laughs> you also get an additional five key, 100% attack and defense, and additional 40% chance to crit when there is not a Realm of Gods category enemy. And remember, it's excluded to Pure Saiyans and Hybrid Saiyans. So if you're not facing a Realm of Gods category enemy, that's just a free five key and 100% attack and defense. So bump that up to 480% attack and defense to start a turn. And do keep in mind this character is stacking from their pre-transformation. Okay, as well as 50% damage reduction, just regular damage reduction for five turns, and 30% damage reduction from normals. Okay, as well as uh, additional attack and defense, of course. Um, uh, that's when you have the GC bosses or Rama Gods character attacking the same turn with you. Um, guys, so just to add that all up, that's, I mean, we got to add that five key on there. That's 29 key. Uh, it's 29 key, right? It is 29. 29 key, 200 into 180 is 380. And then, of course, you have uh, 380 into 100%. That to be 480. And then, of course, 580 with this. Of course, you have that GT boss of Roma Gods. So 580% attack and defense, as well as 29 key. Guaranteed crit, by the way. Additional crit chance, too. So 140% chance to crit. Is that true? As, am, am I am I reading this correctly? I I must be dreaming. I I could be wrong, guys. Um, I gotta be crazy because this is looking ridiculous. As well as uh, additional super attack chance, of course, and a guarantee super when they do two or more super attacks in battle, and a counter, and a support. Okay, I think we're done here. These are all the categories. Just a just a conglomerate of categories. Um, Zam. Uh, Zam, God, damn. You see what I did? Zam, God, damn. No, no. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to be about it. Um, go ahead and send me custom cards over to vhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can review your custom card in the near future as I get all these older cards out the way. I think I'm moving at a good pace. I think I started off like after I did the little quick channel update, I started off pretty good with these custom cards. I'm doing well right now for these custom cards certainly so with that being said i appreciate you guys for watching you guys are the best join the 24 7 discord server the link is down below in the description for you guys to join um and just come chill with us hey show your summons off show your beast gohans off and all that other good stuff peace